I want him to come to you and tell you that the deadline are gone yet and this letter is fake. I want him to come to you and tell you that. And if you can't read, make somebody read this letter for you. But you know what I'll say to him? I want to say to him that the Labour Party have three representatives in Western Westmoreland. They have you clueless more or less Wilson. They have Garfield James. And they have Ian Miles. But the three are busy, in, uh, busy undermining each other. Bless up, bless up my people. Welcome back to the channel. It's a girl and Isabel Rose. Thanks for all the new subscribers. Thanks for returning subscribers. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Turn the post notification bell on. Put it on all so you won't miss an upload from me. On the road to 20k, help me to get there my people. So in this one, my people, radio personality DJ Amber puts two Jamaica Labour Party members on blast. And we've seen also Ian Eels, the opposition spokesman on water coming out again blasting Morland Wilson stay tuned for the details at hand don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel run over to my other platform subscribe over there get that channel to 1k for me please and thanks So my people with all these water woes and water worries and black tank saga we are seeing people still crying out for water and a radio personality DJ Amber comes out blasting Morlan Wilson and Matthew Samuda as it pertains to the whole water crisis in the Niguel area and my people may I make one listen some voice notes i'm not sure if it's a leaked voice notes but based on what i'm hearing it's a group where moreland is a part of and dj amber is also a part of that group i'm a people it's even revealed right after these voice notes you know was heard by matthew samuda allegedly he called her radio station that's area fm to larger complain about her take a listen the man is telling people to store water in tanks the few little tank and more than give to people and who did already have tanks set up where they more get water to put in at the tank this no make no sense when more than they all know him now say nothing in a group when in your fa there is no defense for the people it come like i'm here the mp and see me i get chastised there the righteous will always be persecuted, but I shall overcome. Moreland Wilson, your job is to confront the minister on behalf of the people who put you in your seat. Where are you? Where are you? Why are you so silent? Why are you not taking up the people's demands and the people's concerns and having this man address them? Have you even written a letter to him to outline the things we've been saying in here? No, you are silent and absent because it is all about on a party. If it is not about party, on no business with the people, and Moreland will say you are failing in doing your job because you have not taken the minister to task because you and him belong to the same damn party. I see him like how him come chat about last week. You have to go do one to you have to go make phone call to Irie because I you next you more than Wilson. By the way, when you hear this, Mr. Wilson, and you can go tell your friend Samuda. When you no hear this, member say me is the real non-aligned source in a this group. Irie FM said them are the non-aligned radio station. Me are the non-aligned human being. Because me no PMP and me no JLP. Me is a person and me is a Jamaican and the people them need water. So, you know, sit down there and think, say, I saw it go go. And me go get silent through. Matthew make phone call to Harry. I worst thing that thing could I ever do. Because me don't know already, say me no say nothing with because no last out. It's even alleged, my people, that after he placed that call at her place of work, she was fired right my people allegedly dj amber was fired from irie fm but based on what was revealed in those voice notes 
she said nothing my people to you know tear down his character or anything like that the people need water and that's what she is voting for and some people on the jump on the comments and let me know what to think about this segment so far because it looked like when you speak out you know for truth and right and speak out you know in support of you know good governance and all of that them try as much as possible to muzzle you because what did this lady say that warrants you know him to call her place of work right nobody a call andrew only for him the people need water and that's what she's voting for so in this segment the people we've seen ian Ills, the opposition spokesman on water run out pan moreland wilson a member of parliament for western westmoreland after he came out speaking about interviews for farmer program and that is here to serve both the PNP and the Jamaica Labour Party or even persons who you know supports none and so Ian Hills come and say him now make them him fool the people them because we know my people say Ian Hills has been on his tail non-stop so I want to listen to this where Ian Hills say my people I want to say to the people I was smaller you know is work me come for work you know and I'm going to work and I thank each and every one of you for your support and all I ask you for is just one chance to show you the work that I can and will do. For everything that you have heard, all the nastiness that you have heard about me, not no go so. But you know one thing they can never tell you? That I wasn't the MP who get the most road for the people of Hanover. The most water project for the people of Hanover. Send where the most people on the farmer card for Hanover. And that brings me to this now. So I came out yesterday and I speak about the farmer card for Western Westmoreland. And, you know, the MP got up, more or less clueless Wilson got up. And he made a video last night inviting you down over the next two days to come bungle up down at the office because you want this opportunity. Come in on most, I don't want a farmer card, you know, no want a bus. So all I want to go down there today and tomorrow forget that bus. But I'm not going to make him fall on today or tomorrow. I'm not going to make him do it. Because I sin, I sin. I'm not going to make him do it. Here's the letter. Here's the letter. You know, I put up the letter. I want him to say the letter is fake. Here it is. He got the Canadian farmer card April 4th. That's when he get it, you know, April 4th happening tomorrow which is thursday the 25th of april and friday the 26th of april 2024 we will be having interviews for the farmer program that's right the long anticipated farmer program will be conducting interviews at the office so all those persons who have signed up from the last say 12 months um, you are all invited to come to the constituency office and get an interview completed after you are you have completed your interview we will be sending your information to kingston for processing is april 24th the deadline gone already you know for everything for submit it gone already you know i want him to come to you and tell you that the deadline are gone yet and this letter is fake i want him to come to and tell you that and if you can't read, make somebody read this letter for you. But you know what I'll say to him? I want to say to him that the Labour Party have three representatives in Western Westmoreland. They have you clueless more or less Wilson. They have Garfield James. And they have Ian Miles. But the three are not busy, in, uh, busy undermining each other. Nobody's doing the work of the people. But you know what I'll say to all three of you? Because I know Miles and James good at this undermining thing, you know. And they are, they're undermining you as we speak, but you're not doing your job. And to make matters worse, the, the lies that you're telling. As I said to the people, can you hear the unfarmer card? 
You got them April 4th. Let me repeat. You get them April 4th. All right? The deadline was April 24th for all of these documents to go in. And you inviting the people them down there for the next two days to come stand up at your office in a hot, hot sun. You're wicked. So when you hear it, when you help my people, I want to know if I run out in the comment section and talk about the things them. Tell me what you think about everything that was said in this video. Will you all see the proof in this video that um, I just showed a while ago that the deadline to submit the forms for the farm work program has passed from the 24th of April. And this minister sit down in front of a camera saying that he's going to conduct interviews on the 25th and the 26th to send them back to Kingston, knowing damn well that the date has passed based on what Ian Ailes just showed in that video, my people. Right? He got those forms from the 4th of April. So why wasn't the interviews conducted before that? When I talk up my people, talk up Panda one here and make me know what to think. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Run over to my other platform, Instagram and Facebook and follow me over there at Anisabel Rose. Check out the YouTube store, make a purchase, it goes in support of the channel. Check out the YouTube membership, you get a lot of benefits by becoming a member. Only a small fee per month to become a member of the Anisabel Rose movement. Member shout out goes to Angela and Ivan Wallace. Big up on yourself, my sis. Thanks for the continued support on the channel. We do notification shout out in each and every video to be a part of that. All you have to do is be the first to like, comment, subscribe, and you'll be featured in the following video to come. This notification shout out goes to Pat W. Big up yourself, Pat. Thanks for the continued support from each and every subscriber. New viewers, come on board, journey with me, join the family, subscribe to the channel, like up the video, share out the videos, support the ABR movement by playing your part. On the road to 20k, help me to get there, my people. Get this video to at least 3,000 likes, share it out, my people, as much as possible. Stay tuned for more updates, stay tuned for more videos. Big up on yourself. Happy Friday.